why is it very important for us to reclaim our time? Why do we think it will help you focus on the things that matter? If you're on Instagram and you're not selling, you can do it as literally maybe one hour, you know, you can also be checking your screen time. I think there is an app that helps you, you know, check your screen time. And then when you see it's too high, then you just, and if you use two days screen time, dedicated, you can set 30 minutes screen time a day. If you've used one hour in a day, you've used two days, that means the following day, you're not on social media. Anyways, you're not selling there, you're just there to look. And then if you spent for yourself 30 minutes and 30 minutes per day, and you've spent three hours already, know that for that week, no more. And you have to discipline yourself. So that time, fix another thing into it. So this is what I'll be doing. At that time, it will help you manage um, procrastination. I put you greatly minimized or managed. I'm not going to say it's going to help you to totally eliminate it, but you procrastinate on the things that do not matter. So, and it's fine, you know, they're on a scale. You have to focus on the things that matter. It helps you build confidence in your abilities. You know, that one, um, you know, I'm, I'll come across to some people now that I'm confident and it didn't, come, it didn't happen overnight. It's because I've spent time developing on myself, reading books. I mean, I'm an avid reader and I always advise people read a lot. You know, the secret of life sometimes is embedded in the book. In, in the books that you know are all have been written in the past, basically, we shine light for others. Once you figure this out, I'm looking forward to when somebody would also take on this role and also come and talk to us at my car. One of the people I'm talking to right now come to my car to say, "This is how I also have reclaimed my time." So you shine light light for others as well, and we gain fulfillment because you are you're living on your terms. You. You're not being controlled by social media. You're not being controlled by people. If your time is too free, trust me, people will fill it up for you. People will definitely call you. Ah, what are you doing this afternoon? Ah, they can hang out. To be honest, I don't blame them. Your calendar is free and, and, and they're using it. So try to also leave, leave, use your time on, on your terms. My calendar is always booked. If you ask me for, I'll tell you, wait, let me check my calendar. If I check my calendar, if if there is space, I'll tell you this. So if there's no space, I tell you where the space is. Can we do it at that time? No, I'm sorry, the next time. Then to say no, not everybody would have access to your time. Everybody shouldn't even have access to your time. Success begets success. As you continue to do the things that brings you happiness, bring you, brings you joy, brings you fulfillment, you will not want to stop. You just want to keep doing it and setting bigger goals for yourself. And most importantly, before I end the session, I'm sorry, I think I took um, eight minutes extra. We have to grab those five things before the five opposite things take over, which is our youth, our health, wealth, our leisure, and our life. And that's where I'm going to end the session today. I don't know if we have one questions before we run off, and then maybe uh, run off or go into the next session. I don't know if there's another next session planned. So thank you very much for having me. I'll check the chat now and see if we have any questions, and I'll be happy to take it.